Hey guys and welcome to this new tutorial. So today we'll learn together how to make credit card payment using Stripe API in your Xamarin Forms application. So before that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. So let's begin by creating a .NET Core um, project in which we're gonna install Stripe NuGet package After that, we need to create uh, some models here. So let's begin by creating payment model class in which we're going to define two properties, token and amount to pay. So the token is something um, generated from the client side in order to secure the, the credit card information. And the amount is the amount to pay. After that, we need to define um, some IPP setting class in which we're going to use it to retrieve the secret key uh, of Stripe API uh, from the Jizun settings file. So that's why we need to move to the IPP settings development JSON file. We, we're going to add a new section called IPP settings in which we define a property called secret key in which we store the secret key here. So the secret key, we're going to get it from um, the Stripe developer uh, account. So here we have a publishable, publishable key and a secret key. So the publishable key is used in the client side and the secret key is used on uh, the server side. So here we put our secret key. That's cool. And in the startup.cs, we're gonna set up um, the configuration of a Stripe API. So that's why we need to um, retrieve uh, this um, secret key from the IPP settings, okay? And after that, we need uh, uh, only to make Stripe configuration dot API key it's equal to our secret key. That's all for the configuration of Stripe uh, component here. After that, we're gonna add a new um, folder called services in which we're gonna define um, the iPayment service interface and the payment service uh, class. Cool. So this payment service interface, let's make it public and in which we're gonna define a new signature of method called pay with card, which take one parameter called payment model. So let's implement this pay with card. So we need to create a charge option. It's equal to new charge create options in which we're going to define the amount it's equal to payment model dot amount the currency so here we, you can define um, what you need so in our case we're going to use the, the euro the euro and the source it will be the token generated from the client side and we can also add another another property called description in which we can we can define, for example, um, a string like subscription for annual uh, annual subscription or monthly subscription, something like this, or we can write whatever. After that, we're gonna call um, the charge service and we're gonna make create which means we're gonna create a transaction with the different charge options. And finally, we get the response and we're gonna make sure that we have a, succeed, a successful uh, operation. So that's why we're gonna check if the response different from null and the status is equal to succeeded. So 
the transaction is um, a successful a successful transaction we return true in other way we return false cool I think we have done here with um, the service and the last step here in the, in the web API we need to define a new controller called payments controller in which we're going to define a new action called pay with card that will be HTTP post operation and called pay with card so the root is the API slash payment slash pay with card so this action take one method called well, one parameters uh, excuse me and um, this parameter will be the payment model before that we need to inject the i payment service and the controller here and delete unnecessary namespaces here and finally we're gonna call the payment service dot pay card with our data and we get the success of operation and finally this action return the success of operation is it's too simple the the server side is too simple so now let's move to the client side it will be a zamar informs um, application so we need to define some models here like the payment model we have already defined it on the client side so here i duplicated the code and uh, eventually you can use a nuget package and use the same class and change the code cool now we need to create a new folder also called services so here the service uh, before that um, i think we forgot to add the um, i payment service and uh, the ioc of the web api here so we need just to add this line and the startup.cs here so it defined our service in the container cool now on the client side here the services will be something different from the web api here we're gonna define a stripe payment service eventually we can define uh, for example brain tree services payment and for example um, i pay uh, service payment or uh, google pay services payment service so here in our case the stripe payment service we're gonna define a pay with card method that will take one parameter it will be the payment model okay uh, it will be an asynchronous uh, method and return the task of boo so here we're gonna call the web api that's why we need to use the http client uh, uh, object so we're gonna define later the api url and now we're going to define how to make our post um, operation so the post operation we need to define the content of this post it will be um, something json uh, uh, data so we need to serialize our payment model to and assign it to a content variable after that we need to create http content it will be equal to a new string content and takes the the seriousable the seriousable object and you're going to define the type of encoding and the content type it will be with json finally we're gonna get post async with the pay card which will be the root we had already defined in the web api and the second parameter will be the post complete so if we have a success operation we return true else false and don't forget to put your service and uh, register your service in the ic great now we need to add a new model called card model okay 
in which we'll define the different property of credit card, like the number, the expire year, expire month, um, the CVC uh, number, and for example, the card holder, the address of the card holder, etc., the city. So you have the full documentation on the Stripe um, Web API documentation. Now, let's delete the content of this main page and replace it by greet. Before that, I think we need to um, install the Stripe package. It's the same Stripe like the server side and the difference will be uh, the configuration um, of uh, the web api so here on the client side we're gonna use um, the publishable the publishable key now on the xaml here we're gonna define four entries one for the amount to pay one for um, the credit card number for the year and the month of expiration and the last one will be the cvc number and eventually a button a click to click in order to pay the amount cool so i think here we're gonna go fast here in the video because it's not the purpose to add entries i think you are more um expert to do that uh um, quickly so let's go uh, eventually you can download uh, all the code from the github uh, repository so you have got to add in the iStrap payment method uh, payment um, service to declare the signature of um, the method cool now we're gonna add the different entries here and bind it to uh, different properties like the credit card number make it uh, like a mask so credit card number um, will be a 16 uh, number i think yeah so let's try it it will be something like this and in order to have this uh, style of uh, visualization we have uh, used it here uh, the fast entry uh, nugget package so after that we're gonna add the expiry um, field it will represent the the month and the year of expiry it will be um, four digits cool let's go fast here uh, the different style and we have something like this and finally we add the entry for amount to pay cool so here we have the different um, fields here so let's move to the main page view model and add the different bindable properties uh, we have already defined it in the XAML so here we have credit number expiry and the CVC number and finally the amount to pay cool before that we forgot to add the button to pay so here add button text pay and bind it to uh, the command pay command add it to the view model here and let's define the pay method so on the pay method here uh, we need to call the stripe payment service so before that we need to add a new um, method called generate payment token so this taken parameter a credit card uh, model and it returned the token which means we need to secure our information. We can send um, the different information of credit card like that on the network because uh, it can be hacked. So uh, Stripe um, think to that and 
and the client side, we need to send from the client to the server uh, a kind of uh, token. Cool. So here we define a different number here and the different data of the credit card. And after that, you're going to call something called token service. And this service dot create options. And finally, we return token.id. So the token.id will be sent uh, through the network. It's more secured than sending the different data of uh, credit card. Finally, let's define this um, method signature in the uh, service. Cool, we have done here. Let's move to the view model and let's call uh, the stripe payment before that we need to inject it in uh, the constructor here so the first thing we need to generate the token so we call stripe payment service dot generate the token with different information from uh, the xaml uh, so here we need to make some replace of uh, space character and convert the expiry month and expiry year and make some substrings here because it, it's um, a string and we're going to define some static uh, names here like Breeze, DeVos and Cities Paris and you can, uh, you can get, you can put what you want. Um, finally, um, we're going to call the pay card a method from the service and with a different um, information. So the amount here is in a sense, which means if you put 100, which means one euro. If you want to get the real amount, you need to multiply the amount by 100. Okay. And after that, we have the token and we need to uh, make the call to the web api let's try it so here we gonna pay 70 with the different information of a credit card let's click pay here and cool awesome we have a successful operation here and if we see the dashboard here on the stripe account we have our operation our transaction thank you very much and see you on the next tutorial